Hello and welcome to Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town, where we need to go to the lighthouse, um, in order to um maybe find a treasure. The um, map that we completed gave us some coordinates, and hopefully we can now actually use. The, uh, this thing here. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. Uh, uh, oh. I don't know how to make it work. Really? Do we use the map? Not now it? that I've been able to recover all the pieces. We have the diary in our... I need this to frame Steve. Better not. It could still come in handy. Hmm. Ancient coin? <laughs> it's useless this way. It has lots of uses, but not this one. I think they can be used in a more useful way. I don't need it here. I don't think that would work. I think we've looked everywhere and we haven't been able to find any instructions on. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Hmm. Do we need to, like, remove that plate somehow or something? It has lots of uses, but not this one. I don't think that would work. Mm. Well, do we now go to the library? I can't. I would have to cross the square where the inn is, with a high risk of being discovered. Oh. So, where would we find instructions? There's nothing here that I didn't look at. And in here... All the things we can interact with are just the horizon, the plate, and the control box. Hmm. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. There should be some instructions somewhere, huh? Um... Alright, um, I thought this was going to be more straightforward than this, but, um, apparently not. I'm uh, going to have to resort to googling again on where to find those instructions or whatever. So, um, I'll be right back. So, um, I did some googling and the only thing I could find was that we need to look at this plate first and then use the control box. So I guess the instructions, instructions should be on this plate. I wouldn't know what to do with it. 1699, the light will guide you. I guess it's praise for the job this lighthouse had to do. I wonder how many ships it helped dock safely. There's also a list of things to do. One, start. Two, steer. It doesn't seem difficult. Oh. <clears throat> so, um, I have been using the wrong mouse button. 
to uh, try to look at the plate. Totally forgot that it's the uh, right mouse button to look at something and the left mouse button to interact with it. Okay. Okay, let's try. So we need to go to, let's see, I've written it down, 47 North and uh, 78 East. Oh, okay. 78 Is, um, is that it? And then, oh, other way. Um, wait, 47, um, this way, right? Is that it? Like, uh, this square here? It should be, right? It's practically impossible if you don't have any coordinates. There's no recognizable place mentioned as reference for where to aim the lighthouse. Oh my god, Willie. We have the coordinates. It can only be admired. Do we need to, like... No, he wouldn't want to use the map on the... Thing. Well, nothing happened. I mean, we do have okay, it. Okay, let's try. Pointing the right to the right. We had it, but not anymore. Forty-seven. Oh, is it the line and not the square? Seventy-eight. Bingo! This is the point marked on the map. Let's see in what direction the lighthouse is pointing. Good! Oh. Very well. The lighthouse is positioned according to the instructions on the map. The light points in the direction of the cemetery. Better go check. Well, let's go then. Um, cemetery, there we go. And it was pointing in here, right? Yeah, it is. You can see it there. Huh. I don't think the X meant to indicate these wooden boards. It'd be better to remove them. Once there was a legend, to access the afterlife, a boat toll was required. Oh. Maybe this coin wasn't used as currency in the earthly world, but rather to pay the ferryman for a journey to the afterlife. Let's try. Oh. Where did I end up? It seems like a natural cave. Okay. Um, nothing to interact with here. So I guess I can't we can believe it. This is a colony of Mexican psilocybin, one of the most powerful hallucinogenic mushrooms in the world. Professor Jones showed one of these in class when explaining Aztec rituals. Their sour odor is unmistakable, and the conditions for growth seem to be ideal. Humid and lacking sun. Only a strong adrenaline rush can counteract their effect. They're supposed to proliferate only in a few areas in Central America. How did they end up here? I'm also wondering who put these wood barrels here. Hmm. So, do we wanna, like, take some of those mushrooms? It has lots of uses, but not this one. I don't think that would work. 
Hmm. Uh, I guess we can't take them. I don't want to dive over there. I can't even see the bottom. Okay, moving on then. It can't be. The hull outline, the colors on the bulkheads, a red nightmare sailed on the sea. Its slender shape induced all to stop and admire it. The historian Jean de Leon described the adventure galley this way. This is it. The adventure galley. Kid's ship. Ooh. Well, let's take a look. The famous adventure galley. Rumors say that Kid launched raids in all the seas and that the adventure galley was the richest pirate ship around. It's an amazing ship, and its preservation is practically perfect. I wonder how many secrets it still hides after all this time. I guess let's get on board. Who dares? But, but, who said that? Who dares board my ship without permission? Who's talking? Are you a ghost? Show yourself! How dare you give orders to me? Only <laughs> I can give orders. It can't be. I can't believe this. My... my god. Dad? Dad! Dad, is that really you? I have no sons. I'm the Adventure Galley's captain. My name is only whispered in both the old and new worlds. Some people call me the Scourge of the Seas. I'm William Kidd. Who are you? Um... Don't you recognize me? It's me, Willie. What tone is this? Boy, remember who you're talking to. I'm Kidd. What happened to you? You're not Kidd. You're Henry. Henry Morgan. Don't you ever mention that name in my presence. Morgan and Blackbeard are the reason my crew and I are here. If it wasn't for their betrayal, Right now, we'd be the masters of Tortuga. Instead, Morgan and Blackbeard mutinied, hired their own crew, and attacked us. But nobody can take possession of William Kidd's treasure. Remember well these two names, because they're the worst enemies of Kidd's crew. Morgan and Blackbeard, what I wouldn't give to meet you face to face. And now, speak plainly, for what reason are you here? Da Captain, I'm the new deckhand you were waiting for. It's about time. You have permission to board and immediately get to work. The bridge needs a clean sweep. Ask the quartermaster to give you everything you need to make this ship shine. I'm going back to my cabin now. I have to plot the route for our next destination. Tortuga is waiting for us. What happened to him? What's happening here? How could Dad still be alive? Why doesn't he recognize me? I better get on the galley right now. I have to get my dad back home. Yeah. But first we need to make the him remember is who he deserted. is. I guess dad, or kid as he now considers himself, is in his cabin to the stern of the ship. It's a cannon from the 17th century. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't use it. It hasn't got a wick. Let's start from up here. It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kid must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. I wouldn't want its curse to remain active on some descendant of the represented person. It doesn't strike me as the best time to start reading treatises on 17th century fashion. An old three-cornered hat. I think it belonged to some captain, or someone from the upper class anyway. Some well-preserved clothes. Oh. A three-cornered hat. Usually they were worn by people of a certain rank. Clothes from the end of the 600. Their fabric is very good. They were probably used only for the important guests of the ship, not for the crew. 
Can we, like, wear those? Oh. I can't take them. I can't take it. Dad is seated at the captain's desk. There's a strange smell coming from the cabin. Hmm. I can't reach it. Well... What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Um... Captain, can you tell me your story? Is this the reason you embarked? I hoped to understand how you ended up here, Dad. I have no time to get angry now. Go back to your duties. You can hear my story from the other members of the crew. Okay. There are rats inside the magazine. That's the reason you've been brought on, Deckhand. Try to earn your daily rations. Anything else? Someone stole the last barrel of grog. What? This is really serious. But the quartermaster can take care of it. Anyway, no less than a hundred lashes with the cat of nine tails for the guilty party. Stealing the grog? The nerve. Anything else? Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, Deckhand. What has happened to him? To make him believe. Well, I guess we'll find out. Better not. The ship is docked on this side. There's a risk that the shot could ricochet and cause damage. It would be better to use the stairs. According to a chronicle of the period, these wooden mannequins were used to make the crew size appear larger. The fear factor and the number of armed men visible was usually enough to win a battle without even fighting. Somebody carved the name they gave to this mannequin in the wood. Jimbo. Hmm. So if we don't wear the clothes ourselves, do we need to put them on the mannequin? I have to find a better use for them. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Well? This old sword could come in handy. Maybe I can learn how to handle it. If I'm not mistaken, near my house they just opened a school. The Swordmaster. That should guarantee success. Yuck. The hilt is all sticky. Time must have corroded the handle's material. This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. Why on earth should I leave through this hole? It's locked. If, as I suppose, this is the door to the hold, they have surely reinforced it. I obviously need the key to enter. I could ask the captain mm. if he knows where I can find it. Okay. Let's go ask. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. You must earn this honor. Every new member must get to know the ship and gain the trust of the rest of the crew. I think I already saw everything and talked with everyone. Let's see if this is true of you. Answer these three simple questions. First, name at least one member of the crew, except the captain, that you met on board. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Uh... Uh-oh. Surely the Atlantic Codex by Leonardo. Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? Um... No idea. 27. I'm sorry, you're not ready yet. The answers are all around you. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. Okay. So I guess I'll have to inspect the, um, books. The 
These are books on dressmaking in the 1600s. Evidently, Kid cared about being up to date on the evolution of European costumes. Or some guest left them during his holiday on the Adventure Galley. They look like nautical charts, probably routes of the Adventure Galley. <clears throat> Life on the Seas, Rules and Tasks on Board a Ship, by William Kidd. It seems Kidd was writing a treatise. Interesting. Don Quixote de la Mancha. It's one of the first editions. Hmm, that doesn't really tell us much. Dad looks busy. He completely got into the role. Uh, should we try that thing again? What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. Every new member must get to know the ship and gain the trust of the rest of the crew. I think I already saw everything. Let's see if this is true of you. First, Name at least one member of the crew, except the captain, that you met on board. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Life on the Seas, by Kid. Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? Oh. So, um... Let's see. 27. I'm sorry. You're not ready yet. <laughs> the answers are all around you. Okay. Sorry, Captain. Good. It's an old cannon. It will be more than 300 years old. At least as old as the Adventure Galley. It's one of the Galley's cannons. I can see the cave in which the ship is docked. It's a relatively new cannon. Probably after the last battle, Kid replaced the cannons that weren't working anymore. When it was opened, the cannon could shoot. It's one of the oldest cannons on the ship. It has probably never been replaced. You can tell by the notches engraved on it. Every notch shows a battle in which it was shot. Oh. Eight notches, so eight battles. An interesting tidbit of information. I guess it's still armed and ready to fire. Okay, so do we now have all the answers? The number of battles is eight. I'll need you have, I think let's first. Jimbo. Second question. Hmm. Life on the third and life. Eight. Well done. You have the honor of becoming one of kids' pirates. Among us, there's a pact of mutual friendship and loyalty. You deserve the key to access the hold. All right. Thanks, Captain. I'm honored to be part of your crew. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. Let's go and see what's in the hold. Perfect. Wow! The legends were true. This is the result of years of piracy in all the seas of the world. It's a mask. It doesn't seem to come from the Americas. I think it's the loot plundered from the assault on some ship coming from Europe. They will surely be full of doubloons or jewels, but now I have other priorities. Mm. I'm not interested in taking these coffee beans. I'm already wide awake, especially after finding my dad. Yeah, we just have to convince him that he actually is your dad. 
They all have to be dated and cataloged, even if I'd like to dive into it, like in the comic books. It surely contains some spices. They were very precious goods. I don't need it now. Alright. So... It probably contains vanilla or cardamom. They were worth a lot of money on the European market. Doubloons and other coins. Surely the bounty from a raid of some ship headed from the Americas to Europe. Coffee beans. Kid and his crew knew their value very well. Crates and coffers. They will surely be full of jewels and gold. Hmm. Can't actually wear these. Okay. It won't be useful like this. Well, do we have to go back outside and inspect the cave further? It's a natural well formed by the running water. It must be very deep. The water comes from some source upstream. It's fresh water. It's a colony of Mexican psilocybe. The Aztecs and Mayans used them to enter a trance during certain sacred rituals. They're extremely powerful hallucinogenic mushrooms. According to some recent studies, they also have an extremely high calorific value. Ah, oh, but you're still not making the connection with your dad. Oh, yeah, I think he may have been eating them and, um... And, uh, that may have been what's, uh, what made him... ...believe... ...that he was, um... ...this pirate captain. What's happening now? Oh. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. So, what do we do now? It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kid must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. I wouldn't want its curse to remain active on some descendant of the represented person. Can't do anything with the other mannequin. Hmm... This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. Hmm. Yeah. Well... Hmm. Do you want to go and confront... Um... Your uncle? Um... I can't move now. Oh. What about now? I can't move now. Oh. Well, I'm a little bit 
at a loss here. It's a golden mask. It's of European origin. Probably the loot from some raid. An old sword. The hilt is sticky. Over time, the fibers from which it was composed must have deteriorated. Hmm. I'm uh, going to do a little more googling and uh, be right back. Okay, so apparently we need to use the mannequin now. Though how I was supposed to know to do that kind of still eludes me. Um, according to my googling, we're supposed to put this over here. This old mannequin was used to deceive the enemy. The more mannequins there were, the larger and more dangerous the crew seemed. I could use it to distract my dad and enter his cabin. If I could disguise it as a pirate, I could make it pass for one of Kid's most bitter enemies. If I'm not mistaken, he named Morgan and Blackbeard earlier. I really see it as a Morgan. Okay, so now we need to put all of this stuff on the mannequin. They seem the right size. I don't think there was much variety of measurements on a pirate ship. It's starting to look like a member of the crew. A classy touch. The hat makes it look more important. Let's try to make it meaner. Discreetly threatening. This gives it an aura of mystery. Alright. And now we're supposed to go and talk to the, uh, well, to Dad again. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Captain, there's Morgan on the bridge. Morgan, damn scoundrel. You finally came back for the final showdown. It's really you, foul traitor. What nerve you dare show. By returning to the ship you turned your back on after it welcomed you as a child. Prepare yourself to face my wrath. While Dad is busy, I can access the captain's cabin. You won't get far. Okay. Kid, the Sea Dragon. The Adventure Galley was equipped with extraordinary weapons, which is the reason it became legendary. The Galley's nautical charts. With these, it'll be possible to reconstruct the history of the ship, follow the routes it traveled, and identify the ships and cities it pillaged. It's the chalice from which I saw Dad drink. From the pungent smell, I'd say he put in some of the mushrooms I saw in the cave. Uh-huh. Dad has placed the logbook to protect the chalice's contents. Since I'm here, I better take them both. The same acrid smell of the mushrooms I saw in the cave emanates from the chalice. This could explain many things. Dad managed to survive all these years on a mixture of water and mushrooms. Even in small quantities, they sustain any organism that feeds on them and provide vital energy. On the other hand, they're also a powerful hallucinogen. Dad's state of shock following his fall from the cliffs, combined with the sight of Kid's ship, made him believe that he was the captain. If he keeps drinking from this chalice, he might never wake up. I have to get rid of this chalice. Professor Jones taught us that a strong adrenaline rush will counteract the mushroom's effect. First the chalice and then the adrenaline. One thing at a time. These are the nautical charts of the galley. They will be worth a fortune. With these, it would be possible to retrace the ship's routes and identify the places it visited. I can't deal with this right now. It's more urgent that I find a way to get out of here with Dad. It's the statue of a dragon. It was also Kid's nickname. Other than Scourge of the Seas, he was known as the Sea Dragon for the firepower of his cannons. Better leave it where it is. I don't need it to get Dad out of here. Okay, so I guess we just came for the logbook and the chalice. It's time to end the game. Don't show your face again, Morgan. Look who's back. Henry and his kid, the young Morgan. How did you manage to get here, Steve? It wasn't difficult. I was looking for you all over town. And suddenly, what a stroke of luck. I saw you entering the crypt in the graveyard. 
I waited for you a long time. Eventually, I decided to enter and I saw the tunnel. Henry, I didn't think you were still alive. I am partly relieved. My regret was consuming me. In the end, you were right. Kid ship was docked here in Bone Town. How dare you come aboard my ship without permission and offend a member of my crew? Who are you? Henry, don't you recognize me? It's me. Dad, Captain, it's Blackbeard. He was also able to get on board. Blackbeard, yes, I recognize you now. I see that you and Morgan are still inseparable. You'll end up just like him. Henry, not again. You leave me no choice. I understand, Henry. I'm ready. Let's see what you can do. On guard! <laughs> I can't let you go. Nobody wants to escape. Prepare yourself. I was born ready. Okay, can't we'll you just do any um, better. You'll see. Leave you guys do it. So, he wants to destroy the chalice, huh? Well, it should work. It's not a cannonball, so it won't have such a devastating effect. And now the coup de grace. Fire. I did it! Heck, I didn't see that coming. The racket from the cannon was more devastating than the shell itself. Better go back on deck and alert Dad. Okay. You don't stand a chance this time. We'll see. I admit it. You defeated me, Henry. A victory over a man who was once a friend has no value for me. Captain, I'm sorry to interrupt your duel, but I think we need to go. The cave is collapsing. Captain, what are you talking about? The adrenaline caused by the duels with Jimbo and Steve is reducing the effect of the mushrooms. Hurry, let's go. There's not much time. Not before seeing the treasure. I've never been so close to it, and I have no intention of leaving now. But Steve, not now. There will be other opportunities in the future. Yes, Steve. The kid's right. Let's run while we still can. Henry. Do you recognize me? Steve, is that you? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, it feels like I just woke up from a long dream. There's no time, Dad. Let's go. Dad? H how come? Who? You go. I want kids' treasure. It represents my whole life's work. Henry, just know that I didn't want any of this to happen. Steve! Farewell. Well... I mean, Dad, let's go. Good riddance. Okay, I'll follow. It doesn't seem like he was such a nice guy after all. A bit too greedy. Dad, I finally found you. Willie. Really? Is that really you? How how long has it been? Ten years, Dad. Ten very long years. Ten years. So this means you received my letter. Yes, but why did you only have it delivered after all this time? Uh, I sensed that something was wrong with Steve. I could see it in his behavior. When I realized that the search for kids' treasure was becoming an obsession, I started to suspect that he could hurt our family. I hid my piece of the map and decided to deal with him. You are a Morgan. You have the spirit of adventure in your blood. But you were only five, and I didn't want to trouble Mom with such a burden. I hoped that in ten years Steve's obsession would vanish. I decided that if anything ever happened to me, you, after turning the necessary age, would be ready to pick up from where I left off. So I sent the post-dated letter. I read Steve's diary. I know you fell off the cliff. How did you survive? A stroke of luck. I fell right into the sea, and the tide pushed me toward an underwater passage that led directly to the cave. I wanted to find a way to get back to the surface, but... I had to recover my strength first. The last thing I remember is some really delightful mushrooms. Then it's all a blank. Dad, let's go back home. We have a lot of things to talk about. Plus, we have to find a way to tell Mom without making her faint. Elizabeth, yes, we should go back. Ready to leave Bone Town once and for all? Bone Town is not a bad town. 
As soon as the legal formalities are arranged, we could think about coming back here. Remember, deep inside the cave is still the Adventure Galley. Who knows how much it can still tell the world about the Golden Age of Piracy. Speaking of which, when I took the chalice, I also brought the ship's logbook with me. Here it is. Well, for the most part, I enjoyed this game a lot. I enjoyed the exploration aspect and meeting all the uh, quirky, unique characters. And uh, I really enjoyed the graphic design as well. Um, there were... Um, some places though where it wasn't quite sh uh quite um apparent as to what you needed to do next like for example even in this episode there was the thing with the mannequin i mean sure um it did say that those mannequins were used to make the crew appear stronger and like uh, more um like bigger than it actually was but how was i supposed to know that you had to place the mannequin on that spot and then make dad fight it well um anyway apart from those places where I just couldn't, for the life of me, figure what to do next to make the story progress. Um, I really did enjoy this game a lot. And luckily, I did find, um, help by googling stuff when I got stuck. So, yeah. All in all, I had a really good time with this, and um, I hope you enjoyed experiencing this adventure with me as well, and um, I, I hope you didn't get too frustrated over the bits where I just couldn't figure out what to do next. I tried not to spend way too long trying to figure things out by myself um because i know that's that's not fun to watch um but um yeah i hope it wasn't too frustrating for you and um i hope you did manage to have some fun experiencing this adventure with me Um, if I am correct here, this episode should be posted on Monday. So on Wednesday, in the same time slot, we will once again be getting into something different. Um, at the time of recording this episode, I am not 100% sure of what that something will be. But, um... I will figure it out and then on the day that this episode is posted I will also make a community post um, letting you know what I will be getting into next on Wednesday. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.